Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Energy's Logs and Adventures. Thanks for clicking on the video. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day or night, depending on where you guys are in the world and what time you guys are watching this video. It's Friday morning. It's almost Easter. Just going to do a little, some little bits and pieces around the house this, this morning or this afternoon. I know we're going to get uh, the fire barrel ready for some burning because we do have plenty of firewood to get done. As you guys can hear in the background, it sounds like my dad's starting to cut some wood up. Which is kind of cool. I'm just going to go down and empty out the barrel because it needs a good cleaning out. So without further ado guys, let's go. Alright, now that we've got that sorted out, next step is to empty out the rest of the barrel. As you guys can see, of all the coals that we've got in there. I'll ask the old man where he wants it because that just uh, fills up way too bloody quick and it doesn't work as effectively as it should. So quickly empty that out and then we'll uh, sort of restack it and sort of get ready for it tonight I think or maybe the next couple of days at least. Alright, barrel is now empty, got all the stuff holed up over here, and what we're going to do is going to run a magnet through it, because it's got a whole heap of screws and nails in it, so I'm going to get it out for mum. Alright, this is half of the end result, as you guys can see it's just an absolute bloody mess, because most of it was just wet, uh, wet coals, but I got most of the stuff out for mum, which is a bonus. And well, that is basically the end result. There's probably still some sort of nails and that in there, but it's not as bad as what it was, I don't think. So, I'll uh, get rid of that in the good old garbage. So yeah, as you guys can see, we've got plenty of burning to do for the next few weeks. So the stuff that you guys would have just seen would be probably at least two days, three days worth of burning. Probably do a couple of hours a time. But still, it's always fun to have a little bit of burn off, especially when the weather's starting to change to the cooler weather. about four and a half five hours maybe six at the tops until it goes dark and start stacking some of this up into the barrel we'll try and light her up tonight get it going might uh, reposition the barrel just a little bit depending on which way the wind's coming from uh, usually comes one of two ways from that way or that way but uh, for now I'm uh, consider on stacking this up and Hopefully get it lit up tonight. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But we'll see how we go. Alright, I think for now, that will do it. I do have a bad intention on overfilling things just a little bit. And as we were talking about before, depending on the which way the wind's coming from, it is coming from that way. Ironically enough, because most of the time it usually comes from this way. Usually. But uh, because north being on the other side of the house going that way and the hills are that way as well and because they've got like a bit of a uh, canal or channel through the hills and that over there it actually has a bit of a wind tunnel and it just comes right through here but um, it doesn't, I don't really think it matters because we do have that hole there so we do get quite a bit of flow through there which I'm hoping 
that stuff there catches pretty quick because it is pine so I'm hoping that it does catch pretty quick. A little off topic too guys is uh, have a look at the size of this uh, olive tree. Planted, Mum planted these guys probably about six or so months ago. We've already got fruit off that one which is pear. I already got fr um, had fruit off that but it all um, fell off and just decomposed into the garden which is which is okay don't mind that but this this guy right here was about that tall probably as tall as this when we bought it now it's grown at least a foot and a half or maybe two feet since um, since we basically planted him bloody insane well I think that's pretty much um, as far as I want to go um, <laughs> that's what I mean by overloading it just a little bit guys but we'll, uh, we've still got the little pine nest down the bottom and we're still going to put the fire thing in so hopefully this will catch up pretty quick but nonetheless it, it will eventually smoke up once it starts catching it always does but uh, I don't want to because every other time that we've packed this up we've always over packed it just that little bit but um I think that will do it for the packing of the barrel. We'll, um, we'll uh, start this old fire tonight in about four to five hours. So hopefully this wind isn't going to stay around for too much longer because I tell you what, I'm very fussy when it comes to setting fires in wind. Your point is an elephant. With a quick change of an outfit and a quick change of time, it is time to go out the back and enjoy the pleasantries of having a little bit of a fire. So without further ado, let's go out and start this off. It turned out to be a very still night tonight, which is exactly what we want. We don't want uh, flaming wind and roaring fires, but nonetheless, that throws its heat off, which is exactly what we want. And this is one reason why I love using the barrel. As you guys can see just on the bottom, right here and right there, it certainly glows hot. And that's a good thing that we emptied this out when we did, because it wouldn't have worked as good as it is now, because that is throwing its heat quite well. We probably, oh, I dare say, about six foot away from that. So that's always a good thing. It's one thing I love about winter guys, is we can come out and have something like this. Especially if the wind's not too bad. One of my favourite things is listening to the crackle of the fire, getting the heat off it. That is a beautiful thing. So there's going to be plenty more of these fires in the future guys, don't worry. I'm not always going to be using the barrel for all the fires. I'm going to be using uh, some red gum in the smaller fire pit that we got in or down there by the um, back shed that we bought a couple of years ago, about two years ago just to be precise. So we're going to be mixing it between this one and or the barrel and the little fire pit down there. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting winter to come, that is for sure. So we're heading towards the end guys, I'm just going to let this burn down just a little bit more and we're going to put a little bit of water on it, dye it down for the night. We've done all the burning that we can possibly do tonight, we're going to go to bed early tonight to go to work tomorrow. So 
there is just a little bit of firewood left over there that's all right we can always get back into it tomorrow or the next day depending on how the weather holds out as per usual so yeah I'm gonna let this burn down put it out and go inside that is it guys we've just finished up out the back we um, we've let it burn down as much as we can we put it out we don't have to worry about it now and it is very good that we can finally get the burning off started and it's been a long time coming because we do have quite a lot of stuff to get through but anyways we're not going to put it all onto every single video that we do it's just I thought I'd do start this winter off with having a little fire and henceforth in this video alrighty guys that is it we are done for the night and we'll see you guys on the next video thanks for coming along and before we go Keep it easy.